It's time to buy a house, and people have told you to get an attorney. But are you even certain what one can do for you? Let's break down the role of an attorney in the house buying process. have a seat. Ben Weaver here, an Illinois attorney and founder of 23 Legal. I provide personal, practical, and professional legal service by guiding clients through the process of buying and selling a home throughout Chicago and its suburbs. With me as always is Adam Carr, who finally got a haircut. What Look at think? that. What do you think? Yeah, your wife finally got the hint, huh? <laughs> they were literally on the toilet. Uh -huh. I just left them right there. Finally, we got it done. There you go. Good job. And today, we'll talk about how an attorney can help protect the buyer communicate on your behalf, and translate that crazy legal lingo into language you understand. First, let's talk about protecting the buyer. I think it's important to state first and foremost, we're here for you, the home buyer. Sure, we work with realtors and lenders, but our interest lies solely with your, our client and making sure your best interests are met as best as we legally can. From the buyer's perspective, this means making sure there are no surprises when you're purchasing a house. We go through a FOIA request. For those who don't know, FOIA stands for Freedom of Information Act and deal with the seller's attorney during the inspection process. We know you do not want any unforeseen issues to pop up just days after moving into your new home. So going through these processes helps us ensure any issue is addressed either by repairs or monetary reimbursement and your house is healthy and safe to move into. And as we just mentioned, we are in regular contact with your realtor, the seller's agent and attorney, as well as the lender. This ensures any questions, problems, or issues that may arise are dealt with swiftly and promptly. We also work together to schedule that closing date and closing details with all the parties. And we'll work with you, the buyer, to be sure you're also prepared with the money, paperwork, and anything else that may be needed to finalize that closing. Maybe the biggest thing we can do for the buyer, however, is to translate that legalese into something human beings can actually understand. We know there's a lot of legal mumbo jumbo that has to be navigated through, and from our side, the wording and terms to use are very specific for good reasons. On that note, with the legal paperwork we deal with, we also analyze the title companies and the lender's documents and paperwork to make sure they all work out. But when it comes to talking to the buyer, we make sure to take all those terms and let you know what's relevant to you in ways that make sense and help ease some of those home buying jitters. Ah, those new home buying jitters that are natural with anyone purchasing a home. When it comes to the home buying process, it really comes down to those three points. Protection, communication, and translation. If you recently bought a house and worked with an attorney, leave a comment below telling us how it went. If this has been helpful to you, Please share it to someone else you know who's going through a home purchase or a sale, and subscribe for more topics on home buying and selling from a legal standpoint. Again, this is Ben Weaver at 23 Legal, open to taking new contracts and clients, and I'll see you in the next video.